And so as you hear these words telling me now of my state, I tell you to end your life. I wish I could, but it's too late. Thank you. Okay, here we are. Week 15, game 12. A little bit of confusion, I know, but there you go. We know what's going on. We've got game one, and Jed, Je you're at it again. We're on here, you know. What have you got there? Oh, have you seen this? It's Big Trev's book of golfing excuses. It's fantastic reading. Uh, is I'll it? tell you what. Oh, God, yeah. It's, it's absolutely good ones there, is it? Absolutely full of them. I mean, we've all heard them all, yeah. but it's just great to go through it all again. Yeah. Go on, pick us out a few. Well, there's the always the obligatory cup thumb on the Carling can. <laughs> As per usual, yeah. I think when it gets to the number 12 or 13, it's... Oh, bang yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I like the one where someone on in Port St Mary is talking on his backswing when he's on the 10th tee. <laughs> I can believe that one too, yes I've heard that one before. Uh, we're not going to talk about his injuries uh, to the wrist at night time are we? No, no, no we no. shouldn't talk about that, that's <laughs> the internet injury that. <laughs> and then the one I like, it's the old gypsy curse isn't it, it's where the wind changed direction as he hit the ball, that's a good one. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, you can come and see this. Um, this is the first volume. It's for sale behind the bar, uh, £9.99. Uh, it's 600 pages worth and uh, makes a great read. Maybe a nice little Christmas present for someone. Oh, that's very really good. Well, here we go. Anyway, let's carry on. We've got game on here. Brendan and Tom versus the Teletubbies. And what can we say now? Brendan and Tom, they're a bit of a formidable team now. I don't think it's worth talking about. I'll tell you what is worth talking yeah. about. Bushy's beer behind the bar, £2.80 a pint. That must be the cheapest on the Isle of Man. I would say it would be. But yeah, it's a formality. Mm. Uh, the new boys, the new team, yeah. uh, young Tom there. Well, I've got them down as a win. Six and five. Well, not that high. Anyway, game two, big game. Josh in the pro, but no pro. This could be a big thing because the tea caddy are on fire. Yeah, but who've they got in place? Who is it? Who is the cutting edge in golf at the moment? Razor. Yeah. Came in last week, done good. After all, Trev hurt his wrist, he came in, bang, bang, game over. Saw the old pro out, so the pro's got him in this week. Nice touch as well, because he was big Trev last week, and he's sort of readdressing the scales of justice and playing for the good guys. That's it. So I'm going a win for the pro. Definitely. Well, Josh and Razor. Mm. You go with that? Yeah. We got seven out of seven last week, by the way. Yeah, well, no. Well, no, you've only got six because you tipped yourself to win. Ah, game three, organisers. No Brian, Bunty's in against the Slags. Has Cos been binned this week? Uh, well, I refuse to comment, but oh, there's well, no doubt about it. Hard as nails, Bunty yeah. will be the defining factor here, and, yeah, it's a win. Well, I'll go against you there. I'm going with the Slags. Okay. Game four. The ageing boy band versus pipe slippers. Mark showed us last week he's got talent off the course, but he hasn't got enough talent on the course for me. What performance that was, talent night, raised a shed load of money for junior golf and golf development, so yeah. thank you very much for everyone that came along. Yeah. But I don't know, what do you think about this one? Uh, Dave Corrin? Well, they're going through a bad um, time. They're going through a bad time, but Mark's game is not at its best, mm. and I'm going for a bit of a shock win here, pipe and slippers. No, I'll go against you. Uh, it's about time, Mark, you know, um, got a few shots together, he's got a low handicap, he'll come back. Yeah, he needs lessons in Putnam as well, by the way. Anyway, game five, big game, big game this week. Both teams up there, the OJs, they're back in love against the people's champions. And Billy keeps saying, it's our year. Can well, Billy perform like he did last week? I don't think uh, Billy can raise his game like he did last week. Um, there was a lot of, uh, what can I say, a lot of emotion last week and I think he'll be burnt out. Well, I don't think so. He's up for it. He's the spirit of 2005 he's after. He keeps putting it into me. Play like this, play like that. This week we go here, this week we go there. I'm calling a win for us. A big, not a big win, but a win. A big win in the sense of the league. Because this table is wide open now. Then we come to game six. The Toonies, they're on fire. They're still hoping to get up into the top four. They're, they're playing against. Oh, here we go, it's bullshit corner time. Take it away, Jed. Well, as if by magic, it's a father and son affair. 
Um, oh, you open it. You're missing. Yeah, I'm out. I'm out. So uh, it's Finn it's and Toby. It's Cap Stevens. And I think, you know, with those extra shots, because, you know, getting robbed week after week by this stupid handicapping system. But the good thing about it is, Toby doesn't know where to get the shots anyway, so he's not getting any this, year, this week. Oh no, he's a, yeah, he's the shot giver. Isn't Absolutely, <laughs> that's going to confuse him. <laughs> right, yeah. So you don't get a shot on the seventh, Toby, just make a note of that. So anyway, I'm calling the win for the Toonies. Oh uh, no, no, I, I think... They're on a roll. Maybe the chemistry, the change in chemistry, maybe it'll work. Anyway, last game of the day, Will Ferradi. Absolutely horrendous season for them boys against the nosebleeders, Kev Stacey. Well, Kevin's on fire. 23 points in the 9-0 competition on Sunday. Did you see that? No, I didn't see that. Yeah, there yeah. you go. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, well, I think, I think their challenge is over, actually. They've had a loss in two halves in the last two games. Uh, they've still got their free week to come, so I think their challenge is over. Uh, but that's going to be a close game on Saturday, and I'm calling a half. No, I think Kev will, Kev will have his day again. He's on form, he's hot. Yeah. He's very hot. Well, as we say, the league has been thrown wide open, but this week, the champs have their free week, so it could be all changed at the top again. I well, certainly hope so. Certainly hope so. But anyway, just a note, just a note, um, golfers out there should be aware of Carl Morris. Check him out on the internet, one of the greatest golf coaches in Europe. He's nurtured six major winners and he's on at Mount Murray on the 1st of April. I think it's about 30 quid and you get a curry thrown in. Uh, are you sure now? Are you sure that somebody's not winding you up? No, not at all. 1st of April? No, no, he's on 1st of April, so we can have a little tour party going from round here. Yeah. I think it'd be a good night. Yeah. Uh, certainly get into the psychology of the golfing mind. Yeah, well, you tried that last week, failed. Well, maybe there's too much going on in my mind, but I know there isn't much going on in yours. Thank you very much. Anyway, we'll talk about the talent night. Went well, yes. Jess. Yeah, well, fantastic. In fact, actually, I reckon you'd be better off sending Pedro onto the golf course than you. <laughs> well, these Spaniards, you know. Yeah, you certainly like, had more talent. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, it was it was a good night, and I think we've got some footage that will stick on the end of this uh, of the real talent, the winners. But I'd say the big star of the show, of course, we had Amy that won, but yeah. we had Mark, he was aka brilliant. Mr. Barlow. Absolutely brilliant. I must say, he was so good. Yeah. He was so. It's a great time. So that's great, until next week, but when the fun stops... Well, when the fun stops, what do you do, Harry? Come and see Mark Walton, he's a class. <laughs>